Hi, everybody. It's Crafty Mama, and I'm here with week four, the last week of the Do What You Want collab. And this week, I decided to do an abstract watercolor painting, also using Q-tips to make the abstract flowers I'm going to attempt to make. Kind of a little out of my comfort zone. I don't usually do this type of painting. I, I paint with all different kinds of paints, but... This is a new attempt on my part. So anyway, here are my watercolor paints. I'm also going to be using some acrylic paints on my paper, different colors of green, shades, colors, whatever you'd like to say. As I'm showing you here, a couple different brands too. And I also have some like blue right here, light blue kind of like for a sky and I also have some purples which I'm going to try to incorporate in use for the wild flowers the abstract wild flowers that I'm hoping to put on my paper and here are the q-tips and well let's get started and see what I can create here all right so now that I've got everything and I got my paper taped down so it won't move out of place. What I'm doing here is I'm lightly wetting down the whole sheet so that it accepts the paint a little bit better. I saw this in a couple other people's videos that they did and now I'm just trying to paint the sky. I'm using the watercolors painting the sky trying to get like different hues if I can and go a little overboard here maybe I'm not sure just trying to get the feel of things I'm going to add some of the lighter acrylic paint into it and see what I come up with here and to be honest I really didn't like this so I started all over <laughs> hey uh, being real and truthful I started with a whole nother sheet this time I'm just doing clouds uh, little cloud formations here and there and then adding some of the lighter clouds in I wanted it to look more abstract more you know watercolory I don't know what you want to say but it was going for a different look than I had in, in that first painting now I'm just adding some greens in to make like a grass look on the bottom of my sheet and adding some little branches or whatever you want to call it for my flowers not branches like stems I meant to say stems and uh, just kind of draw them in a little. Again, I'm just going for what I feel here, just free forming it, enjoying what I'm doing. Of course, this video is speeded up. I want to add a little darker green in here just to kind of give it maybe a little leaf look or whatnot. I'm going back and forth side to side with the brush, kind of using the sides of it. I want to give it a little definition and character kind of do something a little different um it's supposed to be like why abstract wild flowers in a field of course with the blue sky overhead so i'm trying to create what i feel is the right thing here of course everybody's different i'm kind of liking how it's coming out getting a little added extra uh definition and, and texture and look with the dark green on the light green so I'm liking that I think I'm pretty much done I just want to add a few little things here and there and on the sides I'm also going to draw down with the lighter green that I had kind of make the stem form the stem a little bit more and go back in with some uh, I believe it's hunter green I grabbed now just because I'm just going here going with the flow going with the feeling <laughs> seeing what I come up with no other way to describe it when you start to paint it's just you know hey go with what moves you go with what grooves you now I'm going to go in with the q-tips and a couple different colors of acrylic purple paint and try to do some purple I thought it'd be nice to get some purple on here I didn't have a lot of different colors of acrylic paint uh, flower colors so I guess it's kind of going to be like this is like wild lavender or something like that. I don't know. That's what I'm going for, I guess, though. So an abstract look of wild lavender in a field with the blue sky overhead. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break into song there. I'm getting carried away here. Doing this is like relaxing and stress relieving all in one. I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. And let's take a look at what I came up with. 
I think it came out pretty neat. Of course, it's me. I made it. Well, I also used the first paper that I said I wasn't going to use, and this is what I made, a abstract watercolor rainbow with faith, hope, and love, because during these times that we're going through now, let's have faith that it's all going to be all right. We're all going to get through it. Let's hope that what we learned from this is that life can change in an instant, and maybe we don't take as much for granted. I know I won't anymore. And let's have love for one another. Let's share love and joy and happiness in whatever way we can. I know we a lot of us got to stay inside here in New York State. We do. But let's be courteous and kind and compassionate to one another. I hope you and your loved ones all stay healthy and safe. And again, let's keep the faith. Let's not lose hope and let's spread the love in any way we can. We've all found new ways nowadays to be together from uh, happy hours on the web to DJs DJing on the web and all kinds of stuff. It's created some really great new things that we can all share in and enjoy. I thank you for stopping by and spending this time with Crafty Mama. Hope you have the best day ever. Until next time, next video, goodbye for now.